You're watching the Vidim Vlog with my friend Seek, the best source for all things symbiote related. Don't forget to catch me in Sony's Venom in U.S. theaters on October 5th, 2018. And also, don't forget to check me out in theaters right now, Shock and Awe, written and directed by Rob Reiner, also starring Woody Harrelson, James Marsden, and Tommy Lee Jones. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the show. Thirty days until the Venom movie hits U.S. theaters, thirtieth anniversary of the character, and I'm thirty years old, plus six. What's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of Spitting Venom, aka the Venom Vlog. And today we have some Venom news uh, in the form of a TV spot. Now, as far as TV spots go, I know now that we're in the last you know thirty days, the final stretch before the movie hits theaters, we are going to probably see a couple of these, and I probably won't cover all of them because some of them might just show stuff we've already seen, and some of them will probably show new stuff that I would figure might get into spoiler territory from here on out. So after today's TV spot, I may talk about future ones, but not like show them or do reactions to them or anything like that, uh, because I don't know how many they're gonna release. Sometimes movies you know, will release like you know, somewhere between you know, five and 10, or sometimes even more. Uh, so I don't wanna you know, show too much of the movie away on this channel if possible. I know we already looked at some behind the scenes stuff, but all that was really fun because it was speculation. We were trying to figure out what was going on. Now that we're getting actual clips from the movie, I might rein it back. And there's other movie news that kind of came out today, but I haven't seen them from any official sources. And that's regarding like the, you know, the rating of the film. Obviously we're still waiting on that, the official rating. Uh, and then also the runtime of the movie. So once we learn that information, I promise I'll make videos on those and we'll cover both those topics as soon as that information is out there. I think we saw some rumors going around saying it's like two hours and 20 minutes, but I also saw a site list a while back that it was an hour and 45 minutes. So who knows what it's gonna be. Again, I'm waiting for official news on that and also with the quotes everyone saying oh you know Ruben Fleischer said recently that Spider-Man you know he can't say if Spider-Man's in a movie and he can't you know he's not sure like he pushed the rating to the hilt and all that and it's like yeah but we kind of already talked about that at Comic-Con some of these are just like you know slight variations of quotes he said at Comic-Con and uh, some of them are from newer interviews and stuff but he's kind of repeating himself or with the Spider-Man thing I don't know why he did that uh, you know some days I kind of I'm like ah, oh, dude you're going back to the old Sony ways that we used to talk about when we first started the show where Sony deliberately do, you know doesn't give an answer because they'd rather people go in with hopes and then when those hopes are crushed it's like no that's not good because then that's when you get bad ratings on your you know uh rotten tomatoes and everything fans will go in there and be like hey they told us that we could maybe see spider-man it's like no nobody said that <laughs> uh, they just didn't answer the question and so when sony doesn't do that i sometimes get a little irked and when reuben fleischer you know doesn't answer a question directly i get a little bit irked uh so i understand there's some things you just can't say when you're making a movie uh, and that's probably one of them, but still, it's like, they already said before Spider-Man wasn't in this one, and then he comes out and says that, and everyone's like, well, in editing, they could have added so you know, it's like, all right, like, let's all calm down. Uh, we'll talk about that when we hear from official sources, or maybe we just won't, and we'll just wait and see what the movie uh, delivers. So that's what that's kind of my stance on that, and that's why I haven't made videos covering that kind of stuff. Uh, and for those of you who did watch the 250th episode, thank you so much for doing that. Uh, I really appreciate it. It was a long one, so again, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Uh, and also to Ariadna, thank you for the intro to this video. Uh, Ariadna is going to be in the Venom movie coming up, and she was also recently in Shock and Awe uh, uh, by Rob Reiner, I think was the director of that movie. So big shout out to Ariadna. Make sure you follow her. Her link to her social media and on Instagram is down below. All right, so without further ado, let's watch this TV spot because I haven't seen it yet and I saw a lot of you guys tweeting it at me and I was like, all right, I gotta, I gotta stay away. I saw the thumbnail with Venom looks like he's jumping over a car or something. So, you know, that's a little bit spoiled, but that's okay. You know, I'm sure it's not a major moment in the movie, but I do want to see what it looks like. So let's dive right in. Boom. I'm Eddie Brock. I'm a reporter. I found something really bad. Hey, snap. I don't hear no voice. Eddie. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's mostly the same stuff we've seen. What is that? Whoa! What do you want about me? You will find out. That was cool. You have no idea how much you're scaring me right now. <laughs> Whoa! What the hell are you? We are Venom. I love that little smirk. I love that little smirk. He gets it in right at the end there. Um, all right, so that scene where he's like playing with it, like that scene from Flubber, which is so funny because I think like IGN or Nerdist or I think maybe it was Nerdist, one of those uh, websites made a mashup 
trailer. And I saw a lot of those. I know a lot of you guys were asking me about them, uh, which they did like a mashup of The Mask, uh, the Jim Carrey movie from the 90s, uh, mixed up with Venom. And then they also recently, I saw the Flubber one. So when he's sitting there like pulling it, he's like, what is this? Like, uh, that's kind of funny. It reminded me of the Flubber thing, which I don't know if that's good or bad. Uh, but, I mean, obviously it's good because Robin Williams is the man, uh, rest in peace. But also, you know, it's just, it was a neat visual, a funny visual. Uh, and I think that's like, we talked about that before with some of the comical elements in this. People are like, oh, it's going to be kiddie and kid friendly and stuff and it's like well venom's always had you know humor at the weirdest times uh with that character there are, there are things in the comics uh, especially from a good writer who writes venom really well uh like david michelini and some of these other writers from uh, from the 90s and stuff they do a really good job of balancing that humor and i also think mike acosta has gotten better at it and we're going to talk about that in uh, venom first host when i review that uh, but as far as this goes, seeing Venom, like, the only major new thing we saw in this, other than him, you know, a couple extra shots of him beating up those guys in his apartment, uh, we saw the scene here where uh, he's jumping over a car and uh, and running around the streets as Venom, which is really cool. I, it's it's really awesome. I wonder where in the movie this is. I'm sure it's going to be towards the end, or is it after the motorcycle chase sequence? Is it after he throws um, Scott Hayes' character, like, to the side? And then he's being chased again, and he's, like, running off. I'm kind of curious to see. But seeing him like that and seeing how big he is in comparison to a car and stuff, uh, chasing him is pretty awesome. <laughs> it looks really great. Uh, so I'm, I'm glad I watched this, but, you know, and it's called War. This tra uh, this TV spot is called War. Um, but, I'm, I'm, like I said, I probably won't cover a lot of these because, again, it's hard to do reactions. Like, 30-second reactions, you know, it's like, whatever. So I figure, well, we'll do it, and then we'll talk a lot in this video um, about what we saw. And then, you know, obviously my intro was pretty long. But, uh, but so to me, it's like, all right, these are, you know, very quick. And a lot of times you don't get new stuff or you get, like, a snippet or two of new things. So from here on forward, uh, we'll definitely just cover the new stuff. Like, I'll just make a video, and we'll just do the screen grabs up or something of the new shots we get. Uh, and hopefully the screen grab of him jumping over the car is here right now. Uh, I'm sure I'll capture that and put it up there for you guys. Uh, but what do you think? Like, what do you think of this? Uh, does that make you more excited? We're only 30 days away. You know, obviously that's very great too. You know, being on this road, being on this journey with you guys has been awesome. I know it's not as long as a lot of other people have been making videos on stuff. And, uh, you know, I like, I think Evan, you know, been making Spider-Man PS4 videos for two years, which is awesome. Big shout out to Evan. Super nice guy. I think his video, a review of Spider-Man PS4 went up today. So I'll put a link down below. Seems like a good kid. Uh, I always call him kid. I feel like he's probably like 15 years younger than me. Um, so I was like, yeah, you know, I watched his video and it didn't have spoilers in it. So I figured I'll put a link to it down below in case you guys want to watch it. But I, I like channels like that. The Rage Nation, that's another one. Uh, Where's Barry? I like channels like this where it's just someone who's focused on a specific thing and they have a passion for it. Uh, Rage Nation, obviously a big Transformer fan. And Where's Barry covering everything for Resident Evil 2, the remake coming out. And I like watching stuff like that. I just like seeing people's passion bleed through and then like you know mostly staying away from like drama things and people being nasty on the internet and just trying to focus on what they love uh, because come on you know life's short and why not do that and so that's what motivated me to make this channel was watching guys like Rage Nation and Where's Barry and doing this show so it's been great I'm glad I was able to get to 251 episodes now before the movie even came out in only 10 months. That's almost a Venom vlog a day, and uh, it's been really fun. I won't say it's been super hard work, because some of the videos I know it's just me talking, but I do try to put a lot of time in my editing, and I've tried to get the format of the show to look nicer than it was when it first started, because I think when it first started, it was just me. There was there was no banners and stuff, and I just wanted to do something that would separate me from other YouTubers who make content daily, and something that would require a little bit more work. Not a ton more, but at least a little bit more work, so I feel like some effort's going into these videos where I'm simply just talking to you guys uh, and that's also why I like to communicate with you and find out what your opinion is uh, you know also so we can continue the conversations in the chat below so let me know down there what did you think of this what do you think of anything I covered in this video uh, did you see the flubber mashup the mask mashup did you see any of that stuff I talked about in my intro let me know in the comments below and we'll talk down there thanks for watching my show as always like share subscribe all that fun stuff and I'll see you in the future peace